Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying a four selections from Bunt. It's a cookie. These were sent to us from Sheila, so thank you very much, Sheila. Uh, this is a holiday assortment, so this is uh, the Halloween uh, Bunt. It's a cookie. We have the Cookie Butter and Scream, which has a, let me show you real close. It has a Oreo cookie on top with the little jack-o'-lantern face. This one is a pumpkin spice blondie, which looks phenomenal. This one is a caramel apple harvest. And I just want to give you a little peek at the bottom of this because at the bottom, there is a full Oreo, um, uh, oatmeal, oatmeal cookie on the bottom. It looks really good. And then this is the Black Friday Dossert, D-O-S-S-E-R-T, Dossert Cup. And it is layers. There's like four different layers. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these on um, individual plates. Uh, Kevin, do you think this I don't think we should heat that one up. Okay. We, we should try that one. Before. Okay. It says that you can eat these room temperature. You can um, heat them up. You can even eat them frozen if you want. They said it's all up to personal preference. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat these up in the microwave. Uh, separately for 15 seconds each and then we will eat this one at room temperature uh, but we will be back to show you once we've heated these up I'll, I'll come back and I'll show you what these look like in the center so I'm gonna move this out of the way for just a second while we're talking about these we heated them up Kevin how long did you heat them up um, 18 seconds 18 seconds so this is the cookie butter and scream and we're gonna give you descriptions of all of these as soon as we get over to the table and so let me see how best to show you my goodness it looks like it's full of peanut butter it does look like peanut butter uh, absolutely massive and so let's see I'll prop that up there <laughs> the next one is the pumpkin spice blondie and it's all sticky on the bottom yeah, so I'll, let's see here we go Mm, goopy. Looks like, what do you think? Maybe caramel? Could be caramel. It's full of, full of something, definitely. Yeah, I and, knew it was softer. And this one is the Caramel Apple Harvest. And that, it has, uh, it looks like, yeah, it, it has, uh, there's, that cookie just kind of collapsed on the inside, but there's huge hunks in that too. So I'm using my, my cheat sheet here. Can you all see that? Okay, we're gonna try the pumpkin spice blondie first. And Kevin, you can go ahead and dig in wherever you want. This is pumpkin spice blondie base folded with white chips, pumpkin spice morsels, golden Oreos, and pumpkin spice Milano cookies. This cookie is filled with a homemade pumpkin spice cream cheese frosting topped with a white chocolate drizzle and a golden Oreo. So did you get right from that middle part? Mm-hmm. It tastes like a pumpkin pie. That middle part especially tastes like a pumpkin pie. Mm-hmm. That's good, I like the pie. The spice is good. There's, a, there's enough spice to where it really has a good flavor. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. It tastes identical to a pumpkin, mm -hmm. pumpkin pie. I What's mean, good is it's good and gooey. Yes. I want it's to get good. a white chip. Absolutely identical to a pumpkin pie, mm -hmm. but it's delicious. I like the texture too, because mm -hmm. it's goopy, but it's still firm. It's kind of like a fresh baked cookie. Yes, this would be a great um, special uh, cake to order for a couple and you could split it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because there's um, no calories. The next one is the Cookie Butter and Scream. This one. That's the one with the dark Oreo. Uh, Funfetti base, folded with Halloween Oreos, Biscoff cookie pieces, mm. and sprinkles. The cookie is stuffed with Biscoff cookie butter, so we said peanut butter. Yeah. It's Biscoff cookie butter, and the center is stuffed with even more cookie butter and is topped with a Halloween Oreo. We love the Biscoff. So I'm gonna get me. You can tell no matter where you get it, you just taste Biscoff. It's very good. If you like cookie butter, you'd like that. 
Mm -hmm. I want a piece of the edge. Mm -hmm. It's good. Hey, even if you don't get the middle, you still get that cookie butter kind of flavor. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. so, I actually like that better than the pumpkin. And even though I like the pumpkin a lot. I do too. Because the cookie butter is so strong. The Biscoff, and we love it so much. And they just, they really made sure that that was going to be the number one flavor mm -hmm. in that. Once again, the texture is incredible. I think, gooey, I think the firmer. texture on this might be a little firmer. It is a little firmer. But I like that. I do too. And the cookie, the Oreos, they don't add a lot to the flavor. They do add, um, you can see them, and they do add just a little bit of that chocolate. Like Oreos have like a touch of bitterness, which is nice because it helps offset the sweetness of that Biscoff. So it's really good. I like the flavor of the Funfetti mixed with the Biscoff because you can also taste that Funfetti. You can, just like a vanilla cake mix. Yes, almost. you can taste that. There's a difference between that and just a regular cake mix. The Funfetti has a very distinct flavor. I like that with the Biscoff. I wouldn't have thought to mix those two flavors no. together. Um, the next one is the Caramel Apple Harvest. Oat milk. This one kind of collapsed. It did collapse. Oatmeal cookie base folded with cinnamon chips. Real diced apple pieces coated in apple pie spice and tons of caramel uh, caramel bits. The cookie is surrounded by crisp apple pop tarts and has a cinnamon graham cracker crust. The center has a caramel filling that ties it all together. Pop tarts. That's this has everything are. in it. Oh my gosh. That's what those little flat pieces. Oh my there. goodness. So a kid's dream here. Oh yeah, I, I see mm -hmm. that. If you get the bottom, it's almost all oatmeal. And I love oatmeal. Yeah, but the caramel is really good. Um, the center part is really like sticky gooey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in a good way. I like that. And then I tell you what, if you I love apples anyway. The cinnamon apples are really good too. This is not overwhelmingly apple. So if you're like okay with apple, but you don't want a mouthful of apple, I think you would still like this because it's really good. It's not as strong as like an apple pie. Mm -mm. It's good. Mm. I got a mouthful. With the cookie. Every time we go to a new one, I'm thinking, oh no, that's my favorite. Oh no, that's my favorite. Mm. That one's really good. I still like the the uh, Biscoff one. I love the cinnamon in it, and I love the oatmeal. Mm -hmm. um, even the Pop-Tart. It's not like a crispy, hard Pop-Tart. Dry. Yeah, th that it works well together. Mm -hmm. it, it all works well together. It's delicious. Yeah. That would be my number two, probably. Are you happy we heated them up? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, think, I, I think they're perfect, because I don't think they would have been as gooey if you hadn't heated them up. I agree. So now you can open this one. This is called Black Friday Dossert. I don't know what Dossert means. A certain kind of cake maybe? Oatmeal cookie base folded with cinnamon chips. Real, uh, sorry, I'm reading you the wrong one. That, that, like that was the one we just read. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Black Friday Dossert cup. So this is the one with the layers. Um, it says apple pie and Biscoff, anyone? The first layer is Biscoff cookie crust. The second layer is spiced apple pie filling. The third layer is maple oatmeal half-baked cookie. And the fourth layer is cream cheese icing drizzle and more Biscoff crumble. Good right them. I got the full layer mm -hmm. and it's good. My favorite part though is whatever's this kind of top half is my favorite. Like that top part mm -hmm. is the best part. Like this part? Mm-hmm. You get down to the bottom and it's more like, is there apple on here? Is there the apple? I don't know what's in the bottom. Spiced apple pie filling, mm -hmm. Biscoff cookie crust, spiced One apple thing, pie filling, maple oatmeal half-baked cookie, and cream cheese. It's the oatmeal and the cream cheese frosting. That part is my favorite part. Mm -hmm. I like it all. I've not tasted cream cheese. 
Maybe I just didn't get a... Well, once you get some of the apple pie stuff, it kind of... That flavor kind of takes over the whole thing. Mm. But you get the I got apple that time. Yeah, if you get the apple, it's kind of like, that's it. That's all you taste, really. Well, you get a little bit of that maple kind of flavor. That is delicious. It's very, very good. I could sit here and eat... Oh, definitely. You could pick a pick and pick <laughs> at it. Yeah, absolutely. I could eat that till I was sick. I could eat any of these until I was sick. I can understand why they put that in a cup, because it's layers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I couldn't have just put that on a... Right. So form. when you see a picture on the website, at least when I looked at it, it looked like one of these bunt cakes. It did not show a picture of it in this cup. Uh, so when, and I don't think you could get it out of that cup. No, I don't think because I thought, okay, should I dump this over and try to heat it up? No, don't do that because mm -hmm. you're you're not going to get the layers. It's get, you're just going to make a mess. Um, and it is good at room temperature. By the way. I was going to say, I do I do like it at room temperature very much, but I'm glad we heated the other one. I, I do too, and you could heat that one up too, and it would warm those apples up a little bit too. So, if These you very good. could only afford, well, oh, I think I Shelby even, sent me the prices. I don't even have it to think about. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, I can tell you how much they cost. Uh, oh, the Black Friday cup, Dosser uh -huh. cup was $11.00. The Caramel Apple Harvest was $10. The Pumpkin Spice Blondie was $10. And the Cookie Butter and Scream was $9.70. Huh. Oh, so, and Shelby also paid, so her total was $40.70. She paid $15 in shipping to have these shipped to us. And so her total was $55.70. So if you are considering, I want you to know, you know, I want you to know the price. What would be awesome is if they ever offer free shipping. So, if you want, follow them on Instagram. And I would say if they ever have any kind of specials like that, it would only make sense for them to announce them there. Um, I would absolutely follow, on, follow them on Instagram. And their page is Bunt, Bunt It's a Cookie on Instagram. And uh, so... That would be the time for me to order is when they were going to do shipping. free shipping. Yeah, because I hate paying shipping. That's just the honest truth. <laughs> well, um, these the ones where they were out of stock right now that you have to get every, notified? Yes. So every single thing that we're showing you right now is out of stock. And I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. They, I think they're just so popular that they open up. They, they let you know, hey... Uh, it's open uh, time. Ordering is open. Ordering is open. And then they have a certain amount. They have a cutoff. And if you don't make it in by that time, that shipping time, then you you don't get that in that time. But now, these, since these are Halloween cookie bunt cakes, I'm sure they'll offer these again. I would think so. But right now, if you go there, it's going to be sold out. So just follow their page on Instagram, and that way you'll know um, when you can order again. And then if they ever do have any deals, specials, they might have a special, who knows, they might give a Christmas special or something and give a percentage off. I don't know if they do that, but I'm just saying, if they do, you'll know about it. Uh, these are half pound, by the way. They're half pound, soft baked. Uh, you can store them in the refrigerator for best freshness for seven to nine days, or you can freeze them for up to six months. Mm -hmm. Enjoy cookies warm, cold, room temperature, even frozen, like I told you. Uh, she said it's a personal preference. For heating, you can heat them in the oven for five to six minutes on 350 or for 15 second increments in the microwave until desired gooiness is reached. Um, and then they do have general ingredients on this card. So that is one thing you will notice is when you get these, they come wrapped in a plastic bag they're not labeled at not all labeled. that would be the only thing that i would say yeah, is i wish they would stick a label a name on them it needs a name i think they they should do that they well should. they could print up like these circular things just yeah do the series with the names on them and just slap them on because them. they know they're going to be putting them in here all the time just yeah absolutely put a name on it yeah that would be the only thing i would say is they should put names on them but you can know that that you can you can always go to their uh their page and i will link it below and you can see what they have to so offer. what was your favorite my very favorite is the biscoff <laughs> yours too <laughs> um, the biscoff is my favorite but the apple one is very very close behind 
Um, I love the apple, but I also love the pumpkin spice blondie. Nothing against no, the, I like that one this one either. They're all good, but somebody always has to come in last place. You know, we have four to choose from, so somebody's going to be last. But it still is excellent. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that Biscoff, I it's can really eat good. that every time, all day long, because you really taste Biscoff, you really taste Funfetti. Uh, so, but these are incredible. Uh, thank you again to Sheila for thinking of us, for, for spending $55 on us. We greatly appreciate it because I would have never even known about this company. Mm -hmm. So these are, these are excellent. So if you've tried any of them, let us know because the, since they change all the time, I'm sure you have tried some that we don't know anything about and it would be fun to read your comments below and uh, hear what you thought of them. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.